We are in Kfar Kara, an Arab village in northern Israel. The Triangle Research and Development Center has been experimenting since 2009 with a new type of greenhouse, capable of producing electricity while maintaining the crops. So this is the crop responsive tracking system. Um, it uses um, bifacial panels that you can see here. They're semi-transparent as well. Um, you have some light coming through the between the cells as well, so we can maximize the amount of light reaching the crops. Um, and the panels can tilt, so they can go from east to west. At the moment you can see them flat because it's uh, midday and, they, and it's very sunny, so it's providing some shade for the plants. Ibrahim, a physicist specializing in semiconductors, is one of the first in the world to have had the idea of putting semi-transparent solar panels inside greenhouses. His team has just received a 5.3 million euro fund from the European Union to launch pilot projects around the world. If we can make selection for the spectrum of the light that can we go through to the right crops, to the right selection to the crops, tomato, cucumber, whatever, then we can win both, make win-win energy production at the same time food production. We have published at least 20 papers in well-known uh, uh, papers, in world well-known papers. So we are one of the advanced groups in the world in this technology. We can say for sure there's no violation between using solar energy and making food. Ibrahim founded the TriSolar startup, which offers a turnkey product to farmers, allowing them to decrease their production of greenhouse gases while increasing their income. One of the problems with the farmers is they don't have a stable income. They are always depend on the harvest and the price in the market. And over here, we can, in a way, give him uh, something stable that it will give him an income from electricity all along the year, which is this, like, it will straight his cash flow. So it's, it's an it's investment that also can benefit the farmer. And uh, actually, we are looking for a way that government is going to give subsidy to the farmers in order to invest in that system. They can, in a way, lower the price of the vegetables or the, or, or the, or the fruit to the market because they'll implement that system in, in their greenhouses. This greenhouse 2.0 produces food in arid areas where agriculture was not possible until now. You can actually place the greenhouse in a place that the quality of the water is very bad, very poor, and with the electricity that we produce, you can desalinate the water and, and actually uh, water the, 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 the greenhouse. Large-scale pilot projects of these ecological greenhouses will be installed by this summer in Germany, Austria, Italy and Greece.